It takes generations to build a city. This city's a lot of awesome people. And only a few seconds to destroy it. That is a large tornado, and it is now headed towards Cordova. It was, it was a very different feeling. I don't really know how to describe it. The city hall was on Main Street. It was destroyed during the storm. So was the police station. Uh, so we lost both of those buildings in the tornadoes. The city of Cordova suffered two blows on April 27, 2011. The first in the pre-dawn hours, the second that afternoon, when an EF4 tornado slammed into the downtown area, taking out everything in its path. Uh, we're talking about a dangerous tornado. We lost four lives in the storm. I don't really care to imagine what it would have been had the first storm not come through before business hours. Uh, had these businesses been occupied during uh, the, that second tornado, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what we would have dealt with. The city was left a shell of its former self. We didn't have a grocery store. We had a temporary city hall, temporary police station, temporary fire. And city leaders were left with a daunting task to rebuild better than before. It's not an easy process. But it's still scary territory. I think we're exactly where I wanted us to be, uh, but it's still terrifying because you've still got so much to do. The first mission, give the residents back their grocery store. We were without a grocery store for three and a half years. It was This was a pretty tremendous thing for us here. Next up, a new city hall, complete with a police department set to open this summer. Mayor Drew Gilbert says it's more than just rebuilding what was lost. It's about getting neighbors involved because as he says, Cordova is their home. When there is that moment, when there is that recovery, when you are in need, we're phenomenal. Uh, you, you won't find any better than, than this area.